mean, we broke God off of huge stories as the news people. But uh, there, nobody cares much about the hard news stuff. Mm -hmm. So we don't do it a lot. They actually like more of the entertainment. They like the yeah. fluff stuff. So we get them. You know. Well, if, if we were in New England, how would we be dressed? Um, I wouldn't be in a bikini. That's right. <laughs> because that doesn't go with me. And I'd be in, I wouldn't be wearing shorts all the time. I'd probably be dressed like a preppy. <laughs> and they say, well, God, oh, you wear the same shirt and wear the same shorts all the time. Well, no, I just got through washing like 14 different shirts. That's how many shirts that I have worn since the last time we did this. I do change shirts all the time. I change, I've got like a, I have a set of hats that is like this. And then they ask, well, why do you wear the hat all the time? Well, because my hair has got awful blonde. And my hair, I, we lose my hair in backgrounds when we do blue screening. Yeah, but also it's like, if you even look at the, the picture right now, yeah. because his hair is so light, it's just kind It's just like I'm, I don't have anything on. It's just like she's wearing a copper swimsuit. And we're looking in the monitor, it looks like she's wearing nothing. But I have a copper swimsuit on. Yeah. And, but, uh, but, but another example, we can't get people to migrate from one swimsuit site to another to see the bikinis are. She's on multiple swimsuit sites as the bikinis are. She is the front model for a whole lot of swimsuit companies, folks. And they don't they act like they don't even, they say she doesn't exist for another company. I mean, our, her swimsuit videos, I mean, we're, we're, on, we're on surfing company sites, we're on swimsuit company sites, we're on auto sites, we're on racing sites. Those people do not move from one thing to another. It's like they're loyal to that channel. They're loyal to that channel, and they do not budge from it. They're just a, it's really kind of funny. We, we, we got, we have two sites. One which is the NBC, and the other is the regular BC. The people that are on the BC don't go to the NBC site. The people on the NBC don't go to the BC site. I don't understand. It's the same, and it's on the same system, all, and they're already registered. All they got to do is hop, and they won't hop. They will not move, and there's nothing we can do. I mean, we can't. Like I said, she was drawing a million people a day, a million uh, visits a day, and 14 million downloads a day. Those people, we cannot budge. They just do not want to sign up for any of the viral video sites or any of the social sites. They will not move to them because they think they're scared of them. Yeah. But that's a big chunk. I mean, we're, we're first-hand knowledge that you can't, that people do not migrate, which is another reason why that, um, that advertisers are very reluctant about putting their money into the Internet. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you pick a site that doesn't have a tremendous fan base, you may not be able to make the money pay off. But the problem is, is that um, if, okay, for instance, if, if we were model, if she was doing OP swimsuits, if we put OP swimsuits, the people that want OP would generally come to see the OP swimsuits. Mm -hmm. If she was doing a, a, a Wicked Weasel, the people basically that do Wicked Weasel would watch Wicked Weasel. But they, that's all they watch, they don't do anything else. So, mm -hmm. and, and you're limited anymore by the amount of tags you can put on a thing. So when we put a company tags and names on it, it leaves us one extra spot. Mm -hmm. One. And so it's hard to get, uh, you know, there, there's fan loyalty, but there's not fan migration. I know, that's kind of an odd thing. Yeah. You so, wouldn't even think about that. I know. Because I have all sorts of new ideas. I know, we're going to have to work on that because mm -hmm. what happens is... It really makes you think about it. I start, I, you know, let me put it this, Monty doesn't allow me to sleep at night. She, Monty has this thing is that I, I can go to sleep at 7 o'clock in the morning, but I have to be up and working at 6.30 in the morning, which mm -hmm. means... I can't go to sleep, so I have to work around the clock. And they say, well, how do you do all that 3D work? What well, if somebody that doesn't have a wife? Guess who that person is? It's the old guy who basically can cuss out his equipment all the time in eight different languages mm -hmm. because things aren't working. So my, the 3D is my baby. Mm -hmm. I do all of the 3D work. Every bit of it is mine because, I, like I said, I... You I, and your assistants? Yeah, my assistants. I got too many of them. Con, way too many of them. Got too many of them. You know, like they help out a lot. They, how about they're there to report on me back to Monty? We know that. So, Monty, you know, tell, tell people, remember, I work for a bitch. Mm -hmm. So, no, but we are going to think about migration out there when you're, uh, when you are doing a motion picture or a television show or something, 
there is a fan loyalty, but there is not a fan migration. Mm -hmm. That because, um, say, uh, you're, you're, you've done this, say Johnny Depp has fan loyalty, but they don't migrate from one place to another. Mm -hmm. If they did, every movie he made, that's the same style of character would do well. Mm -hmm. They don't. It's, it's, there's no migration of what he is. It just popped into my head a while ago where we were getting ready to do something totally different. I thought about fan migration because mm -hmm. we're having a problem every time. Like we only got 19 Facebook followers. Bikini Star has 5,000 fans, only 19 on Facebook. I know. 19. What's the deal? Well, because you have to be on Facebook first, and then you have to like it. Now, of course, I understand it takes time, and maybe we should put more effort into it, but yeah. still! Yeah, but we're losing. We lose two fans for every one that comes by, so I don't understand. Yeah, then we would be negative by now. No, we mm -hmm. do. We, we basically, we're not negative. We're about even. We've been close, and then we've went down. We've been, you have to have 25 fans to become official. We have been to 24, and now we're down to 19. Were we? Yeah. Oh. We were one away, but it has to be over 25 because it has to stay at 25 or they take your thing away from you. Oh, it's migration, man. you cannot get people to, they have nothing to do with fan loyal. We got got off of loyal fans, folks. Mm -hmm. I have loyal fans, she has loyal fans. I mean, they tell us enough about what we're doing wrong. You know, I got so many. You have to see the emails to see how many different fans we have. You know, they, they, they go on like this every day. You know, every minute we every minute we get more people signing up for the bikinis are on this where this is playing, which is YouTube. Mm -hmm. Every day we just keep increasing them, but we're losing also because what happens is, is I think that as the as the accounts get axed out, we lose people. So I don't know how many we lose. So I, I haven't kept track of that. I keep track mm -hmm. of the fact that how many friends we have, how many people are, are subscribing. But I don't have a thing on when you don't have subscription anymore. There's no, there's no statistics for that, so. Oh. So I don't know how many lose a day. I know how many gain a day. I'm trying to lose too. But, but you know, it's, it's, it's probably a boring with you. But if, you got, if you're doing anything in the business, entertainment, web business, think about migration. Or social media. Or social media. Especially. Figure out how you can move from one platform to another. Mm -hmm. We have not exactly figured that out yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't move them to the end. We can't move them to the NBC, and the NBC is different than anything else. We still can't get the people to move over there. Well, actually, the NBC has a lot more views. A lot more views, and it has a less amount of videos and considerably more views. Mm -hmm. But still, you know, I mean, you know, but like I said, this is the the new world is the internet, and somebody has to figure out how to move people from spot A to spot C. When you can well, figure you out know, how to do that, you're really What sure. I see with the companies is what they're doing on their Facebook page. You know what they're doing is, some of you have realized, it's like, if you like our page, we'll give you a coupon for 10% yeah. off. Yeah, but they'll just like the page to get a coupon. It's the same thing. We get If you like us over at Hometown Buffet, we'll give you... But then they just do it, and then they don't follow it. So it's basically you pay they for They didn't do it like. to get the coupon. I mean, we're, we're going to... I've been guilty of that before. We, we did. We can tell you in the early days of this stuff, we attended a conference, um, you know, which we stopped attending a conference when they banned the press from certain events because they didn't want the press to hear, you know, hear what some of the people were talking about, which is really stupid because the press all wants to know what it is they're fighting. But we went there and um, they were talking about an ad they ran for, I think it was Old Navy on a movie. Mm -hmm. And they, the whole thing was that, you know, if you did this and that, we'd give you a coupon. And they said, well, are you likely to come into Old Navy any time in the next six months? And everybody said, yeah. Yeah. They all got the coupon. And um, nobody went to see the movie. No one went to Old Navy. It didn't hit Old Navy's, um, a bottom line didn't go up and nobody went to see the movie. Well, I mean, it's all really general. Are you likely to visit an Old Navy store in the next six months? I mean, most people just check out, yes. Yeah, you know, they all say it just to get the 10% off coupon. Yeah. They, they say yes, and then they print the coupon off, and they never go... They never go, you know, they go over to Old they maybe go to Old Navy, or not Old Navy, they toss it. A lot of happens is they throw this stuff in, but they'll just say it so they can get the coupon because more, a lot of, a lot of places they'll go and match coupons. Mm -hmm. So they take the Old Navy coupon in and they go to another store that they want to go to. Oh, okay, we'll match your coupon from Old Navy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it used to do that, I think, with uh, Circus City, which led to its down demise, which Circus City still exists, folks. You just don't notice it, so yeah. it's there. Uh, but um, they would basically do things like, uh, well, if you did this, we'll give you that. And then they'd just take a coupon and they'd over to Best Buy and match the Circus City coupon. Mm -hmm. 
and they weren't getting any business. So I mean, like uh, I think Walmart will match any of the other district, any other department. They, they know the, the stores like theirs coupons too. So. Oh really? Yeah. If they were the trick is they have to carry the same merchandise. Some do, some don't. Migration. It's all migration, migration, migration. Mm -hmm. So until we talk more about this subject, which we probably will not, we've actually. Thought I know. About it. Yeah, after we think about it. Um, so anyway, this is. Old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you, you can always go to, to www.montebuffos.net on the net. I'm praying my software comes in today for the I know, I'm so. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us. Follow our daily newscast in 3D because that's the only place where you're going to be able to find yesterday's news today. Yeah, and look for us on CNN's I Report now. Yes. So thank you for over 40 million links on the internet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,